please subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> what are you reading? Hi everyone. Today we are going to do some yoga to get a better night's sleep. I'm going to do an asan called Malasan, which um, again is comprised of two words, Mala and Asan. Asan, as you know, is in posture and Mala means garland. So basically you're trying to look like a garland. You are you'll see why it's called that because you're wrapped around your body and hence the name all right so i'll do two versions of this and uh, um this this one this asana is actually good to just in general because you're going to be exercising your abdominal organs so it will keep them trim and healthy and also it's good for your back especially if you get backache during your menstrual period this is going to help you with that so we sit first just in sukhasan and just breathe before we begin So now, basically, you're going to squat. I am, your soul is touching the ground properly, completely, and you sit. So, like this. This is not touching your, your buttocks are not really touching the ground. So, don't sit like this, like this. Now widen your knees so that you make enough space for yourself and just bend forward. Here you can breathe for some time. All right, now take your hand and wrap it around your ankles. Just turn and we'll see. I'm just wrapping around my hands. And now touch your forehead, bring your forehead to the ground and closer to your feet. Tighten your stomach as you do this. Yeah. Come back to the position. And just get up. Now back to Sukhasan. Just stretch your legs. Hands. Now we'll do the second version of Malasan. Bring your backs again, set like you're squatting. This version is slightly more difficult, I think, and even I, um, yeah, actually I need to, I need to do this properly, so it will take me some more time to get it 
absolutely right. We'll do it. Then widen your knees. Now this time take your hands. We will do that after a few breaths. And just try to interlock your fingers, at least touch them. Ideally you should be interlocking them. So let me see if I can get and show it to you. So you're sitting, your hands, you go to the back and then you are just clasping them. Just touch them if you can't go with clasp like I'm doing. stay like this for some time. And now that bring your forehead to the ground. So it's called Malansan because you're really just wrapped around your body. And since you are clasping or touching your hand, it kind of makes a circle. Get back up. Bring your hands back. Just come back. Bring your leg. Stretch a bit. That's it. Thank you. Hello everyone, it's Momo here. Uh, today is my day four yoga practice. I'm sorry Lisa, I haven't done anything for the past one week. And I was stuck at third day and then this is finally my fourth day. Oh, I, I have a bad feeling about this. I'm going to lose balance most probably. Okay, tiger pose. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't reach it. Where I, I supposed to grab it? Oh my, this is difficult. No, this is really, I can't, I can't, I can't grab. I'm supposed to grab my leg. I don't know how I look like. I just feel all twisted right now. And this leg, I, <laughs> I can't grab it. Where is my leg? God, I hate this pose. Okay, I'm not doing this pose anymore. Next. So this one I can do, okay, like this, and then just stretch as much as, much as possible. Stretch your whole back. Forehead touching the ground, and then breathe. Five breaths here, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, legs down, but stretch. And then shoulders, shoulders and neck line with the back. Okay. Oh, I think deep breath here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. And three deep breaths. Think this way. But when you have baby in your stomach, it's very low requirement you just need to like a <laughs> little bit stretching that's good enough <laughs> so so yeah this is one of the good stretch for the mommies and uh, and it's like it's like straight back and uh, yeah. 
this way. Yeah, this way. Yeah. Yeah, this way. And the one leg up and then one arm up and one leg up. One leg oh yeah. One leg up also. I'm trying, okay. I hope my back is straight. My hips are leveled. Okay, um this one is a child pose. Like you relax on the floor like this. Completely relaxed, like this. Like this? Okay. And uh, breathe. <sighs> okay, ah! It's <laughs> literally. <laughs> like oh. And then the hips don't move. I think just, just like this. 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 Ah! Very slippery though. I'm just very slippery. Ah! <laughs> oh, I think I'm done for today. <laughs> okay, I think next time I definitely need my yoga mat, not this baby mat. And uh, I'm done for today. It's day four. It's day four. Okay, Raj is coming down. Bye, everyone. See you at day five. Hi, everyone. Today I'll do um, an asana called Marichi Asana and uh, the name because Marichi was the son of God Brahma um, so that's why this is named after him. This exercise is mostly to lengthen your spine and just in general increase the elasticity in your back and your legs. So you sit straight with legs in front of you stretched out Take the moment and you could just stretch out your hands, your back a bit before you begin. All right. So now bring your left leg close to your perineum and so your sole is touching the ground and your left leg is perpendicular. Stretch your right leg at the same time. Then Take your left hand and just gently wrap it around your left leg. Take your right hand and just hold your left hand. Bend to your right and just give it a good stretch. Now slide a little bit, move to the left so that you are straight. Everything is still stretched out and perpendicular. Send your left foot a little bit back if it tries to go in the other direction. And just bend and touch your nose with your knees, with, with your right knee. Try to keep your leg, your knee touched to the floor. We'll do the same to the other leg. Stretch both the legs. Bring your right leg. Stretch your left leg. Wrap around your arms. And just turn. And just turn and bend.
your right leg, which is bent, is actually um, the inner part of it is touching the inner part of your left leg. So everything is very close to each other. Now back. Stretch out your legs. You can sit in Virabhadrasana. Just a few deep breaths. Gently rub your palms, generate some heat, and place it over your eyes. And slowly you can open your eyes. Hello everyone, it's Momo here. Uh, today is my fifth day of yoga practice, or my fourth day. Um, the last pose, I first got it wrong and I started to correct myself. And today, I think I want to start with that previous pose and I will try to get it correctly this time. And let's take a look. The knees are moving forward like this, 10 times like this. There's a deep breath here. You just lie down like this, head down, and deep breath. And just stay there. I think this is for the strength or something. Not for relaxing, obviously. Also for balance and strength. And then try to take some deep breath there. Let me see. Okay, I'll try five. Suck your stomach in like that. And for 10 seconds, stay in the place. And I will fold my leg like this. Hopefully it shows in the camera right now. And um, stay there and deep breath. I think I'll leave the other part of the video in my next day. And today is the fifth day of my yoga practice and then I think I'm done. It's pretty bad today. I think because of oh, the morning, it's pretty bad. I didn't do much. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It would be a pleasurable experience, I assure you.